uh, researching at Washington University and St. Louis. I think we will have uh, some interesting talk today. Uh, first, I want to clarify my topic today. So I will introduce uh, how Korean government leading ICT accessibility policy and program impact infrastructure of the developing world. And next, uh, I, I'd like to discuss what would be the best strategy for the civil society or researchers to work with the developing countries to promote ICT accessibility or to implement new technology. Uh, before I uh, introduce the Korean government international work, I want to uh, introduce uh, domestic work first. Because the Korean government, the market uh, there, the ICT accessibility know-how to the developing world, and many developing countries actually benchmark the Korean government policies. So this will be the good case of knowing um, the whole the, the picture of the uh, approach. Uh, in Korea, uh, we have about 2 million the people with disabilities actually registered. But we anticipate it's about 4 million. So it's a, it means another 2 million is not registered as a dis disabled or their letters stay home or being isolated. And 50% of them are physically disabled, and 10% of them are the hearing impairment, or another 10% is visually impaired. Uh, since 1980, the telecommunication technology, technology has grown rapidly. The Korean government actually um, uh, became concerned with digital divide among people with uh, disability or the low social economic status. So at that time, the Korean government um, started putting an effort uh, making new uh, legislation or policy to reduce this digital divide. But almost uh, most of their work was uh, more focused on the environmental, like environmental factors such as the construction, the standard or network, the speed standard, things like that. But we had a pretty good infrastructure at that period since we have uh, the past two decades they put a lot of money to build up those kind of network and infrastructure. But it was not effective enough to solve this divide among people with disabilities. So as you can see, uh, the rate of internet users of people with disability is a uh, um, fifty percent, that compared to seventy-seven percent among total population. Uh, fifty percent and seventy percent doesn't sound the big difference, but as you see this graph, uh, it is uh, the digital opportunity index. It includes how much the, the people in each country uh, feel um, feeling of their access to internet is good or how their technology uh, is like that. And Korea actually ranked the top in the world. So if we talk about the Uganda, maybe Korea, the internet speed is 30 times faster than the U.S. Um, so what I can say is this means the perceived gap between uh, people with disability and people without disability, disability is larger than other countries. So in, your, in a developing country and then most of people don't, can access the internet or they have problem with the, the connected internet, they don't feel they are discriminated. But in Korea, most, um, uh, people without disability has so much uh, better opportunity to access information. So people with disability has more uh, perception of the discrimination or isolation. 
So this is an overview of uh, digital divide policy in Korea. So we had had um, policy or program since uh, 1990, and then this became uh, another like, um, like a strong policy. The first one, the National Informat Informatization Act, that includes a lot of ICT accessibility uh, uh, standard or mandate, but it does not include the, the punishment or in enforcement. But we recently uh, enacted the Korea Disability Discrimination Act, which we modeled the, the American Disability uh, Act. And that includes the, the enforcement and punishment. Uh, if the government or private sector do not follow the ICT accessibility standard. And then we uh, had a, the policy, the master plan, and now we are in second master plan, and uh, it's aimed to close the digital uh, divide. So we expect that after, another, after 10 years, all the, the website or culture or art uh, could be accessible. So key actor uh, is the department, the Ministry of Public Administration and Security. And under that department, we have a national agency, it's called NIA, and that mainly support uh, the domestic and international, international ICT accessibility project. And they are, they have another uh, National Informa Informatization Strategy Committee. Uh, the chairperson is Prime Minister and the other different uh, government uh, representative or also the end users like with a disability include that uh, the committee so we can keep, uh, get a feedback from those advisory group. And then whatever we make the standard and rule that each the government department or agency or uh, need to must follow. So, the 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 Act, the National Informatization Act, the enacted two thousand nine, included the major provisions on ICT accessibility, and we uh, the government have to provide ICT access and uh, have to establish agency keep. Uh, of the checking, the another government part, uh, if they uh, keep web accessibility standard, and uh, they, we have to provide ICT accessibility guideline and provide AD devices, or the promoting the awareness of the ICT accessibility issues. So the national agency NIA is is the established based on this law, and another. The Anti-Discrimination Act enacted 2007 uh, include the, the government have to provide the information access right and then the government or the private sector need to provide reasonable accommodation in information technology and communication. And then uh, we have the web accessibility obligation plan for next to uh, six years. So first, uh, by 2009, we uh, want all the government agencies website is accessible, which means we the web page need to have a Zoom text function or the voice reading web page. They, 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 this function should be installed in the web page and also follow WCG or Web 2.0 standard. And, and they had a the agenda, like after two years, or the university or college website and the medical service facilities website, and need to follow this standard. And by 2013, private corporations such as the entrepreneurs or industry need to have their web page accessible. So, um, if I look at the past of five years, the changes. Our government web page was accessible only 70%. Uh, uh, in 2008, it became uh, more than 90% of government web page is accessible. This is a pretty good um, uh, improvement. Uh, I want to introduce a little bit about the NIA. 